Daryl Overstreet Jr. is certainly the player of the game with an outstanding performance, 241 yards, three touchdowns, and one pick for defense. Daryl, congratulations on that phenomenal performance tonight. I talked to your athletic director, and he spoke a lot about your leadership. Talk to me about your leadership and what it took to get this win today. So leadership for me, it started at a young age because I've been playing quarterback since I was eight. You know, and as you're playing, and you know, my father played too, as you're playing, you pick up a lot of things, and along the way, you just kind of know you have to keep your guys together. You have to stay cool, calm, and collected. You can't let a moment overwhelm you. You have to stay big time. Like, Coach Maloney, he does a great job at, we have leadership council meetings on Mondays. We all, like, get together, and we all talk, we do leadership, and we, we basically, he teaches us new skills every week. You know, it's something good for us, not just for me, but for everyone on the team. You know, my center, Devin Rocho, tight end, Kurt, Luca, Chase, we're all on it. And, you know, over these past three years, we've just learned so much from Coach Maloney. Like, my father, my whole life, has always told me, it's not what you say, but how you say it in moments of frustration, especially, like, you can't yell at somebody, right? Even if it's the same message, you can't yell. You have to be calm, and you have to, like, distribute your tone in the correct way because if not, you're not going to get the right message around. No. And talk to me about that 30-yard uh, touchdown play to Maravella. What did you see there? <laughs> I kind of just was looking at the linebackers, and I, after I snapped it, I seen Luca got the ball. And as soon as he got it, I seen that crease open up, and he just hit it. And it was such a happy moment because we, as these this seniors and this team in general, we've brought something to Grays Lake Central that we haven't had in a long time. And it, it was just a surreal moment for me. Absolutely. And looking to the future, what is it going to take for you guys? What are some of the most important things that you need to do to make sure that you guys are playing well into the playoffs and ultimately playing on Thanksgiving weekend? <laughs> That's the goal. But basically all we have to do, we have to stay disciplined in our assignments, you know. Last week we weren't as disciplined and we didn't make plays on the crucial downs. This week we came in and we did that. We showed we can, what we can do and we played one of our best games of the year. You know, Absolutely. It, it, it's on everyone. It's not just me, it's not just offense, but as a team we have to make sure we're disciplined and we're staying on task. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Outstanding performance and good luck moving forward. Thank you, man. To view this Xfinity program in its entirety, visit CN100.TV for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing Game of the Week. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local or simply say Get Local into your voice remote.